Hi, today I'd like to show you how I play Back in Black by ACDC. I'm tuned to E, low E, B in the middle, high E. I'm using a cube. I'm set on a rectifier, I believe it is. And there's no reverb, no chorus, nothing like that. Just straight. There's four parts to this song, not including the little intro. I'll get the intro out of the way right now. You just mute your strings wherever it sounds best to you, and you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you start the song. So that's the easiest part, but I don't even count that part. So part one, I'm going to play it two ways for you, and then explain them both. So the first chord, very straightforward. First three chords for that matter. It's E, open. Um, I've written it as just two strings. I've written everything just as two strings for clarity, but you can hit all three if you want, no problem. Um, the D chord, I'm playing it down here. Some people may want to play it with one finger up on 10, but I'm playing it on three and five, and you hit it three times. And then you go to A, which is on the fifth fret. Once again, you can play one finger all the way across if you want. I'm using two fingers there a lot instead of one finger, and I'll explain why later. You don't have to do that. You can use one finger if you want. And then there's the lick. Well, the first time I played it, I played it up high here, which is 15, 12 on the first string, 15, 12 on the middle string, and then 18, 17, 15 on this string. Now, if your guitar doesn't go up, this high, you can do it like this. Now all I did was change the note setter up here to 11, 10, and 8. That's a little tricky because you got to go, you know, move your finger. But it's kind of doable. Um, this way works pretty good, like that. Now it is a pre-bend. I got really heavy strings on here, so I'm not doing any bending. I'm writing everything as slides. Pre-bend would be like, you know, it's actually not even a real pre-bend. You can actually hear them bend, but it's really quick. And on a heavier string like this, I sort of feel it doesn't really have the, the right sound, so I do it as a slide, just to get the tempo right. So once again, that's 15. 12, then 15, 12, and then all the way up to 18, 17, that's a slide, and 15, and then you can hit the open strings. You've got plenty of time to do this, because your last chord was A, then there's two beats, and this comes in not on the next beat, right after the, that second beat, which is actually beat three, because this is a one. That's the one right there. One, two, three. Like that. So the other thing you can do too, depending on you know how you good you are with the pick, you can do an upstroke and get the chord that way. Like that. So that's the thing. Where that a lot of people get thrown off with that, other students, because I teach uh, home students and stuff like that, where they have a problem with that is like where to start the lick. They almost always start it a little too late because you can hear the beats there. And they want to wait for that next beat, but you don't. You don't hit it on the beat of the three. You don't hit it there, you let that beat happen, and then you jump in. It's called an anticipation, actually, because you're playing it ahead of the next beat. So, one more time. Like that. 
So if for some reason uh, you don't want to do it up there or you don't have enough frets, then you can do it down here, 3-0. Three 3-0 zero. Three zero in the middle, and then 6 slide to 5. Once again, if you want to bend it, you can do that. So 6 slide to 5, 3, and then the chord. Like that. Um, the climb up is um, 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 0 between each one. 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. In case I draw myself out. <clears throat> and you don't wait for any beats there. That's right in uh, time of the song. Okay, so that should get you through the first part. That's probably the trickiest part of the song. I think it is anyway. My suggestion would be to, uh, once you've got that lick down, where you can play it fairly well, at slow speed, let's say, is to go and find the Back in Black version on uh, YouTube from the album and uh, go into use the settings button and cut it down by, I don't know, maybe half and play along with it like that. You know, or even, you know, right down to 0.25 uh, if you need to. And just make sure you get it really, really tight. And then play it like that for a while and then move it up to half and then move it up to three quarters. And you'd be surprised. It won't take you very long to actually get it up to full speed. Okay, the next part of the song, which is the chorus, that was the verse. This is the chorus. I'll just play the whole thing for you first. <laughs> Um, and that is makes up the chorus. So that's five, and then open, and then seven, and then five seven. Like that. You do that twice. Then you go down here to G, which is three, and you play the bottom two strings. You can play all three if you want, but I play the bottom two strings. And then that D we did earlier. And then here it's a little tricky. I play the A with uh, two fingers. So I can play the G note by itself with one finger. Let me play that slow for you. And there's a slight bending, you don't have to, but there's a slight bending on that, that G. And then you're back to the first lick. And then down to G three times. And then three on D. Now in reality, uh, the guitars actually fill in on that G. They go three times. And they go down, up, down, up real quick. So if you're playing with other people, you probably want to do that. I find that from a lesson point of view, if I go... It sounds like it's all one volume, and those down-ups, down-up, down-up... I say too many? Down-up, down-up? Yeah. Four little strums there are actually weaker sounding than the... Yeah, I just muted it there. Anyway, that's the uh, chorus, which is pretty easy. So the next part you need to know is the backup for the solo. I'll play that for you. That's pretty straightforward too. So it starts off with an E chord. Three D's, and then it goes to A three times. And then it goes to open E 
and it goes three threes, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll say that in case I drown myself out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that last one is the beginning of the next line. So it's. And this time it goes E, A, E, A. Like that, I think. Let me play it up to speed. That's pretty straightforward too. So now you've got the backup for the solo, you've got the verse, and you've got the chorus. Now we're into the next tricky part of the song. The bridge, basically. So I'll show you what that is. Open, three on the middle, two, open, two, that's all on the middle, and then you sort of bend the uh, three to that kind of in-between note, and then it's kind of like it was at the beginning. Zero on the middle, five, zero, six, zero, seven. So then it changes up to going to the four chord on the fifth fret, A. And the best thing to do is make a bar and play the same pattern. Like that. And now we go to the high string, and then three on the middle, high string again, four on the middle, high string again, five. Like that. We do that twice, and then we're back to the lick that we first did. And we do that twice. And then we're back into the chorus. And then we go to an A. And the song stops there, and there's a little lick that Angus plays, and then you're back into the solo. Those are all the parts you need to play along with the whole song. I really hope that works for you. Have a great day.